a significant and decisive move, the Democratic Alliance, DA, has effectively thwarted a proposal put forth by Land Reform and Rural Development Minister Mzwanili Nihonso. The proposal aimed to amend the Constitution to allow for land expropriation without compensation, a contentious issue that has sparked intense debate and division within South Africa. But before we continue, kindly subscribe, turn on the notification bell to stay updated when next we post new videos. The DA's firm stand against the proposal underscores the ongoing complexity and sensitivity surrounding land reform policies in the country. Minister Nihonso's proposal sought to address deep-rooted historical injustices by granting the state the power to expropriate land without compensating current owners. Proponents of the policy argue that it is essential for rectifying past inequalities and speeding up the process of land redistribution to benefit the disadvantaged majority. The DA's opposition, however, is grounded in concerns about the potential negative economic repercussions of such an amendment. The party argues that allowing for land expropriation without compensation could deter investment, weaken property rights, and ultimately lead to economic instability. DA leader John Steenweisen made it clear that the party could not support a policy that risks harming the economy and undermining individual rights. Instead, the DA advocates for pursuing land reform through fair and sustainable methods that aim to achieve both social justice and economic stability. The party's stance is reflective of broader apprehensions within the agricultural and business sectors, where critics fear that expropriation without compensation could have adverse effects on agricultural productivity and investor confidence, exacerbating South Africa's existing economic challenges. This development sheds light on the ongoing and heated debate over the most effective approach to land reform in South Africa. While the urgent need for equitable land distribution is recognized, there remains a deep divide in political and public opinion on how best to achieve this goal. The DA's successful blocking of Minister Nihonso's proposal marks a significant moment in this ongoing debate, demonstrating a continued commitment to striking a balance between addressing historical injustices and ensuring economic stability. As various stakeholders from different sectors continue to navigate these complex issues, the search for a solution that addresses historical injustices without compromising the country's economic future remains a top priority. The discussion around land expropriation is far from over, with a crucial need for finding common ground and implementing measures that prioritize both social equality and economic prosperity in South Africa. Thanks for watching the video until the end. Hope you found it useful. For more updates, check our other videos. Subscribe to stay updated when next we post videos.